All right, so we got it sitting on its own way. As you guys saw, uh, we'll show you what it looks like uh, fully a little bit later when we actually get it pulled out of this corner. But so now we're gonna throw this steering box in. This is a F350 steering box and the pitman arm goes forward. So it's beefier and the pitman arm goes forward, which is what we need. So I already drilled out the frame as you guys saw earlier. So we're just gonna throw this thing in there uh, bolt it in and then we'll start figuring out how we're going to make our pitman arm and making our drag link which oh is right over there on the ground so we're going to see if we need to put some bends in it or how far we need to make the pitman arm drop down so yeah we're going to get this thrown in All right, so it's been a couple days because of Valentine's Day and stuff. I, so I haven't been here working on stuff for a couple days, but now I'm back working on it. So I'm going to be building a drop pitman arm for the, the limo. So I got the stock pitman arm off and I cut it in half like that. Now I just got some cardboard drawn up on how I'm going to cut it out and it's going to bend around and weld to it and stuff. So I'm going to get these traced out onto here. And I'm just gonna cut it out by hand with the hand plasma cutter because I don't feel like designing this stuff up in the computer. So I'm just gonna cut it out, clean it up, and weld it up. So I'm gonna get the plasma cutter fired up and start cutting these out and show you guys how it's gonna work on here. All right, I got all these pieces cut out. So there's the two top and bottom pieces and these are the sides here, two chunks of the pitman arm. So I'm gonna hold that up and start tacking these on, tacking them into place where they need to go. And then I'll measure it all to make sure it's all gonna work and then I'll fully weld it up. All right, so there it is, finished product. Got those bent around. Welded all the way around on both sides. It's still super hot, but sides are welded up. Bottoms all welded up. I notched it right there and pushed it back just to make sure I had enough room for the nut right there. So yeah. So now I'm gonna get this thing and throw it into the limo and the limo will finally have steering. So we'll be able to flip it around and start on the back. Still a few things I need to do in the front, like brake lines and stuff, but probably do that later. So we'll do all the brake lines and stuff like that all at once, and we're going to have to redo the back too. So we'll get it flip around and start working on the back.
drain hole in for the lake. Where's your camera? Where's that light? Oh, this is Open! Sort of. That's better. Sunroof's got a little bit of a leak, eh? Sunroof's good, okay. Camera, say hi, camera. Hi, camera. It's got a hitch. It's got a trailer hitch on it. Yeah. Foot, you gotta flip the waist plate up. Uh oh. There's a tow hitch under there. Yeah. How you get to it, I don't know. Yeah. This is already a tow package. It's a real small tow package. Like. Holy crap. Well, tilt the forks a little. Huh? Tilt forward. We're not going high any higher. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Hey, we can just pound the trunk back out. Holy, that looks sweet. <laughs> Is that where it's going to be? Yeah, yeah, right there. Pretty close. Nice. Right? <laughs> I like Hold on, it. let me get a picture. That's love. That's love. That's pretty cool. Level, so it's what? Five feet to the trunk? <laughs> Four and a half. I'm six. One on a good day. Oh my gosh. Mom. Here's those whole front wheels up, Graham. Can we go to the trailer hitch? Let's put them on the hitch. So it doesn't 
pick the front up right there. Hey! Well, that's a tiny little pillow. Oh, So as you guys saw, we got this thing turned around and we got it lifted up on jack stands. So now I'm going to start pulling the tires off and everything. It's not going to lie a little sketchy, but I'm going to put the tires under it. I'm going to put these two tires on the other side just as a fail safe in case it falls. And I'm also going to try to avoid going under it. So we did the shake test on it. It seems pretty secure. so. I'm going to start pulling these wheels off and start pulling the rear end out of this thing.
out now. Mm -hmm.